Hello everyone and welcome to my IX crisscross save. Um, let's start it all the way from the beginning. We're even from loading up the game. Uh, Steve background matches off. Uh, database maximum. I'm using the update by the way. Um, creativity fix applied, even though it doesn't make too much difference because it just makes it harder to keep clean sheets with it on. So I can kind of gauge with the tactic because even the weaker AI teams can still can still score goals against you as you could see on the PSG playthrough. I think if I had the creativity fix off, I wonder I would have only conceded about twelve to fourteen goals. I think I conceded about twenty two or something in the league. And obviously, if you've got weaker players, that magnifies, especially defensively. Um, right, so. Let's get back to this. What else do we want to do? I think that'll be fine. It's on large database, so I'll just run Holland because I don't need any extra leagues. I'm only doing it for a season. Um, we're going to need... Uh, we keep Whipper Attribute masking on. Uh, we're going to have to scout some players because I think when I played Alex in the Champions League on it, they had a really small squad. I don't know if they've got some feeder league team in like South Africa or something or it's Cape Town or some other feeder clubs but it doesn't seem to uh, carry over on the on the game so we don't have a B team and we don't have a reserve team actually I think we've got a reserve team but that's about it but yeah the premise of the tactical idea is uh, two wingers pushed up but we're going to crisscross the arrow so they they cross over all the way we're going to have an AMC in the middle we're going to have a free rolling striker and a free rolling AMC. Hopefully it can work together, both on direct passes. The wingers will just do what they want to do. I might even free roll the wingers as well to move all the way across the arrow line. How how that works, it depends, I suppose. I, I'm not using scouting tools, so I'll just have to go by how they're playing and, and, and what ratings actually work better. But I could even cr crisscross them into the forward right and the forward left slots on the opposite side as well which is something which uh, we might try out. But I think they've got quite a lot of different kind of wingers, so obviously we're going to have to go into the training, um, set the training up. Yeah, but I'm getting really into all these weird tactics at the moment. Well, they're not even weird. It's just a different way of playing the game, I suppose, non we Bob. Be a bit more creative than just like a mundane set generic tactic, you know, which we've, which we've all had success on now. So hopefully it'll be quite a fun season. Anyway, you can listen to me talk while the game loads up because it's, it's kind of why I wanted to do it, just so it's literally a whole, an entire playthrough with no editing. I don't want people saying, oh, you're cheating, you only lost, you didn't even lose a game, you don't concede any goals. So I'd rather just uh, I'd rather just actually prove it on the, uh, the load-on. Obviously, it might be a bit of a slow start as well while we're tinkering, tinkering with tactics. I might even do this as a bit more of a long-term save as well if we don't have a great first season. But hopefully by mid-second season, we'd have all the players in we want and to play all the arrow movements we want and we just have a really strong squad. So I am going to send the scouts out because I don't really know the database very well. I'm not going to sign players like Loskin and all the other really known Easter eggs or cheats on the game. I just don't see the point because... It's not really the point of the save. I want to see how effective the tactic is with kind of like the load up players or players you would realist Ajax would realistically buy in real life and or scout. So we're going to kind of scout Scandinavia um, regions like that that do end up in Holland. Obviously Holland, uh, Belgium. So we're going to go Ajax. As you can see, we've got we'll have a look at the squad to start with. So Ajax. We'll call back the players from loan just to start with. I think they're going to have some. How's he in the reserves? He's pretty he's pretty decent. Um, he's playable as well. Yeah, we just have to try out some players. Obviously, different, play different players work better in different tactics, don't they, in different shapes. So we'll, get, we'll have to learn that as we go along. He's good already. Can we recall these? Yeah, that's nice. Uh He's not even too bad as a backup backup. He's got high determination as well. Let's just recall him because we're going to need a big squad anyway. Uh, he can stay out on loan. Yeah, that'll do for now. 
We've got a nice experienced backup backup keeper as well, which is excellent. Uh, right, let's have a look at the squad and which positions we want to retrain. So I think Missouri will just be good up the flank. He's a good attacking fullback, isn't he? Crossing's a little bit low. Might have to not have him on crossing. We shall see. We might have to go really short passing with Ajax. I can't, apart from Haller, I don't think they've got like a physically imposing team. Um, I don't want to play that. I want to try like a 4 1. This is what we're going to start with. All the way across. All the way across. <laughs> That's quite nice. And then we'll start with the fullbacks a bit more conservative, but I'm hoping we'll be able to push them up. Even that, maybe, long term. I think long term, that would be awesome, wouldn't it? Imagine if I could get that to work somehow. But these are all ideas anyway. But we'll start a bit more conservatively. It will still be attacking, but not hyper-attacking. Obviously, we can kind of work towards that once uh, our defence feel uh, the middle four. We've got a nice combination just to hold. So I might not start with the MCs from the forward runs. I might just have them just for one, maybe one through ball, one run with ball. Just a little bit of variation behind the lines there. And then AMC, we've got a lot of options. Tadic, can he free roll? Will, he, will Tadic need an arrow to free roll? It's hard to figure out. I don't even know. Maybe try that with the forwards. It's hard to say. Hmm. So where are we weak? First off, we got to get the. We got to make sure that the DMCs are retrained to play. Not DMC. Uh, retrained to play MC. So everyone that's a possible. Look how small my squad is. It's not even that big. Uh, he'd actually be a very good uh, wing back, wouldn't he? He's got low crossing, but apart from that, he's he'd be awesome anywhere on the pitch. To be fair, I think we should keep him in the centre. He's that he's that hench at nineteen. <laughs> Jeez, uh, we'll just make sure that he can do that. Um, Cause he got good defensive attributes. Got 12 marking, tackling's a bit low. I was maybe thinking about retraining him there. Definitely retrain him for just to play anywhere, the defender, defensive midfielder or or midfielder. But what we need now, I'm not gonna use DMCs, I don't think, in this game. So it's just I'm gonna run out of slots for retraining. So we need an AML left, AML left, sorry. AML right. We probably have to get in some nice coaches as well. Hopefully we get some games done in this episode, but I think it'll be a nice introduction episode anyway. Uh, AML left. I like the look of him already. So Anthony, so if he's left footed, I think his starting position would already be left or would it already be right? Uh, I don't even think I need to retrain him, do I? I think he can play all the, uh, I think he's winger either side. Um, should I retrain Tadic just to play on the right? He's still got a bit of pace to him. Yeah, let's do it with Tadic. Uh, he definitely needs to be able to go left. Do I even want Nerez centrally? Probably not. I think he can play both slots, so he doesn't need to. It's nice that he can do... He's a bit everywhere as well. So is Anthony. What do I do with Klaassen? He's an AMC on this. Retrained to play midfield as well. It's just normal midfielder. He's actually got the attributes to do it. Uh, kudos. Who 
he probably could be a midfielder centre. He's going to lose a lot of uh, physical. He's going to lose a lot of headers though. But on run with ball from deep, he could do that job pretty well. He's quick. Even the through ball player as well. At home, we could use him like that. Because the problem is, he's only got. I can't retrain him on both sides, and that's what we need. We need a lot of wingers that can. Because how many have we got? We've got one, two, three to start with. And we've got, so we're going to have five for two slots, which is nice. Who's Kenneth Taylor? Never heard of him. He looks like he's got potential, though. Yeah, I don't want to retrain him. He just looks like a bog-standard uh, midfielder centre at the moment. The show is pretty good. Let's get him sorted out. Tia, Tia Foliago. Set we're, yeah, we're going to want to retrain these to be midfielder lefts and midfielder rights. I'd have loved to push them all the way up, though. <laughs> and do that crisscrossing with the forwards. I think that would be awesome. But let's not uh, get ahead of ourselves too much. Midfielder right. Just to make sure they can play that arrow movement, it makes a huge difference over the over the season. Um, let's get him retrained there. What is Timbar exactly? He's got high dribbling, low crossing. He looks more of a central player to me. Retrain is a. Can he play right back and central defender though? That's the thing. Because I don't know where he can play. Let me know in the comments. Because I don't use skeleton tools. So. But just for versatility, we're going to retrain him as a centre midfielder. Because I don't know if he can play there. I've never heard of some of these players. But they, I've, obviously it's Ajax. They're always going to have good youngsters, aren't they? Daily Blind to retrain to play centre midfielder as well. Which is a nice option. You can obviously play centre back, left back. I don't really want him going up the wings because he's getting older now. So, but we're training him to play midfielder. He is going to start at centre back if I can't get anyone in. And it looks like these positions are going to be okay. Can Danilo retrain as an AMC? Low technique. I don't like. No, I don't think he can. He looks like he needs a lot of development. Hala. No, I'm just going to keep him up front. He's got low technique though, Haller. It's a shame. Uh, this Clabber, how long is he out for? 11 months. Uh, let's just put him in the reserves because he's not going to be playing, is he? Till now, next June, July. Obviously, we've got Inanna. He's going to be pressing as our goalkeeper. And the centre backs, I'll probably just use them on man marking unless uh, the AI is using some crazy formation. <laughs> But I'm just going to go attacking anyway, so I'm not really going to focus too much on uh, what they're doing, like I usually do on games. We do have £30.5 million. Pounds. Uh, let's just send the scouts out, because I could spend all day looking at players. Let's get some youth players in, just to fill up the reserves. Uh, Nation, we want Holland. Hopefully we can pick up some cheapies. Region, Eastern Europe. Uh, South America. Scandinavia. Let's do Belgium as well. I've already done Holland. Yeah, I do have one on Eastern Europe. Uh, next opposition, maybe. Where else is quite a good region? I suppose Central Europe, maybe. Let's do Central Europe. Uh, now the scout. Let's check our scouts. Uh, not scouts, our coaches. Yeah, I'm not really in depth. I never really go in depth with training on this. Just want to make sure that their coaches are pretty okay. Like, he's not great, is he? He can probably do a little bit of fitness. Uh, fitness and tactics, that's it, isn't it? Fitness, tactics and skills, just to give him free. Uh, Van Gogh. Shooting skills and fitness, I guess. Um, 
fitness, uh, shooting and skills again. Goalkeeper, shooting and skills, I guess. Please, we want to use a fitness coach. Fitness tactics and skills. What about Russia? Fitness. You've only got one on goalkeepers, but he does have 20. You've got three on tactics. Okay, so the minerals might go down. Look how much we got on skills there. I think that's I think that suits Ajax as well. So yeah. Oh yeah, shit. Let's get these friendlies cancelled. I just can't be fucked looking for coaches to be fair. And we do have a nice game there at PSV to start with. Hopefully our scouts come back with some interesting players. Like thirty million's not a lot on the update. I had two hundred and sixty seven million with PSG, so Hopefully we can just pick up some nice vers 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 versatile players. Like I like the look of him already. Nine seven five. Um, just have a look at some of their styles. He's not good enough. Neither's he. Who else might have a few good players? Sheriff. Let's get him scouted. He's available to sign as well. We well, could just sign him and stick him in the reserves, backup. Interesting, he doesn't even want to negotiate as a backup. Greek. I don't know if this reflects when they were good in, because they had a really good season in Europe, didn't they? I don't know if that reflects in this update. Let's just scout this guy. Yasani, he looks like he's got a lot of potential, just from all those full teens. Anyone else? Tbilisi. Yeah, they're basic. That's not like the ODB, where you could get some a few, a few nice Ge Georgians. Amazu. He can already play all those slots already as well. Oh, he's a lot of money though. We should try and get a few in on the... Uh, we'll just try and add a few to the shortlist to start with. Ah, oh, what about freeze? There's always a... It's just a value range free. Uh, view other international caps. Wilfred Bayouni. Freddie Garayan for a season. He's actually not bad, not terrible. Let's just offer him a week. Ramirez, yeah, he's too old now. Bad. 36 so could be trained to play on the left as well ex club back Strasbourg won him he's got a second nationality he might be okay just to add to the squad for a season Kumbarov a lot of oldies in there Summer, so I had him at QPR, he's not great. He'd probably be okay in that. Uh, yeah, he's on the decline. Papa Cisse. This guy looks pretty okay. He's got some nice attributes. How much does he want a week? I don't know if I'm going to play this long term, so I'll just offer him a couple of years. If he signs without a signing on, then fair enough. Marco Paralo, Simel. 
Pentalip. His attributes might go up though once he's had a season. Um, Jack Wilshire. I think he's a very good Ajax signing. I still think he'd be able to do a job. Same with him. I might just offer him a signing on as well. Pavel Problemniak. He's 37. Feza. Winston Reid. Fernando Lorente. I think he's a good option just to have on the bench and uh, launch some long balls. <laughs> Actually, I don't want to do that. That was silly. Let's offer him a one-year. Just get a bit of a bigger squad. It's always nice. Even if even if he never plays a 14 game. Ah, oh, Giovinco. Can he play, though, on um, as a winger if he's just a forward right-left centre? He's just one of those players. Back up. Same with him. Right. If he signs with a uh, not wanting a signing on, then fair enough. Ben Arthur. I still <laughs> had him on my QPR save. Can I do it again? He can play with the slots as well. Oh, I've got to, don't I? Let's get, let's get a bit of experience in the squad. Same with him as well. If he signs, he signs. Dead day. He actually looks pretty decent. Apollyon Limassol. Yeah, I'm trying to try and get some players in that play the Ajax way, I guess. 32 now. i got to remember as well, we're going to find some players on the uh, search also. Lazio. Uh, he's actually pretty rounded. Yeah, he wants a bit of a bit of a chunk. Yeah, that's fine. Anyone else that stands out? He's probably the looks the best ability player, and he's at prime defender age. I think he'd be a, a nice addition. I think that will do for now. Otherwise, I'll look around for for ages. Be nice, be nice to get Wilshire in and that guy. I think that'll be pretty nice. He's a defensive midfielder. Uh, not bad. Yeah, I'm thinking of players for now. I'm not really. They're going to be good in like five years or something. You got a minimum fee, five mil. I've got a feeling he's going to have some nice attributes. PSG sign Moreno. Jurgen Karachi. I just think he's got attributes just to do a season, just as a solid centre back. His pace is low though. Which is a bit of an issue. He's still got high jumping. Uh, I can't really. I'm Ajax, aren't I? Maybe if I was a championship club, he'd be a good signing. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, Jack. You know you want to come to Holland. I know I get injured all the time, but I just think I just think he's an Ajax type player, isn't he? It'd just be quite nice to have him in there. Trying to revive his career in Holland. Uh Gee, the value of some of these players. Is he ever going to be good enough, though? I don't know. He's probably all right for as a backup backup. They surely have got some... Uh, Get him scouted and him scouted. What about the DMC? 
Not bad, is he? I don't think any of these have got minimum fees, though. Lodder. Jorgen. He looks the better one. Right, Cluj. Oh, yeah, I could spend all day looking at players, though. Yansani. I just like the look of him. I don't know why. Work rate could be higher, though. That was the Colombian dude. Mm. Is it, if he was like maybe about 24 or something. Uh. Uzbek. Ledenev. We must have some other good players as well. Oh, fuck it, that guy. 29 and a half million though. He looks really good though. Let's have a look at some expiring. Uh, contract status expiring. Let's go by value. Oh, you can't do by six months or whatever, can you? Uh, view. Well, we'll just leave it for the scouts now because Igor Diaev. So her for sign him. He still has high, a very high dribbling, a very high flair. Always a nice bench option. Masako. Yeah, I just think he's he's a steady defender. He's not going to start, but Dardy, Dardai, sorry. Mm, no minimum fee. You're looking at probably about twelve million for him. Kalu. Yeah. Does look okay. Casper Nielsen. He's got quite high crossing. Stamina technique. Not for that money though. Benson. And Goya. Uh, I wouldn't have minded him. PSG signed Harry Kane for 160 million. Oh, that's only squad numbers. It's not Champions League. We're coming up to the opening game against PSV, so that'll be an interesting test. Obviously, if I don't win that game, then uh, I might have to start thinking about what else to do. So where, what other areas do we need to strengthen? Certainly wing back. I think the other guy's come back, hasn't he? That Pierre. I don't think he's ever going to... We need a backup. We need a backup uh, left wing back more than a right one. <coughs> um, can I actually retrain any of these to be fullbacks? Probably not. They're all like more of a attacking attributes. Just so we've got a bigger first team. Feels he was brought under false pretenses. New contract. 
I was unhappy with training. Yeah, always worth having a big squad. You never know when you're going to get injuries. Welcome to Holland, Jack. How old is he now? 29. Hopefully his attributes spike, but I think he's going to get injured a lot. Let's check out some of these youth players. Martin Hutner. He's five-star rated, though, so we can just stick him in the... And just stick him in the uh, reserves for a little bit. Daniel Cliver, that's a region name if I've ever seen one. John Lewis. Uh, I don't mind him actually, you can get him retrained as a right back. What's his crossing? Seven. What's his dribbling? Seven. He's not very quick, but he's still only 19. Jan Vishka. Tim Jakob. Vasic. We need a left wing back. No left wing backs. Hmm. Right, he's got five star. I think we're just gonna eight point seven five million. Uh, I think we should hang on up a little bit. God, it's not like the base game where you just get flooded with loads of Scandinavians that c you can just chuck in straight away. Yeah. I'm just looking forward to trying out this tactic. Just above. Transfer listed by request. 10 crossing, no dribbling. I think his attributes will go up throughout the season. This posh. It's pretty good defensive. Centre back. Man City get Haaland for £192 million. Pounds. I got him on the PSG game for 108 Chelsea offered 108, 105 million. I offered 108 And Liverpool offered £165 million. But randomly uh, on, that, on that load, uh, they just accepted. Well, they accepted Chelsea's offer. Because I, I offered 140 and then And then Liverpool or Chelsea came in for like £108 million And I thought, oh, I can obviously get him for cheaper. So I just put in 105 bid but I was going to pay 160 million and wouldn't have been able to get Bellingham um, ok so Anana left back Triafaglo right back Mazzari defender left Let's go blind and go 
I think this Timber can play centre back, can't he? I hope he can, because I'll probably lose the game if he can't. Or I could just play the Argentinian this game. Now let's go Timber. Left, we go Gravenbach. And... Should we play Wilshire? Uh, is he strong enough in there? I think this Alvarez is good though, isn't he? More of a holding centre back um, midfielder, but he's pretty t he's pretty uh, tough looking. Uh, left winger. So he's moving left to right, isn't he? So we could try him the other way around. I'm actually going to go with Anthony first because he looks like really explosive. Is he right footed? He isn't. Neves. Let's this, this start with Neves on the right and Anthony on the... No. Anthony on the right and Neves on the left. Uh, Tadic, obviously. I think he's the only guy to play there. Well, not the only guy, but I just want him there. And then Haller up front. Uh, Klaassen on the bench. Labide on the bench. Uh, ben Arthur on the bench. He's only for the first game, so... Obviously, play other players are going to get run around as the season goes on. Uh, is it McGarlin? Who's Shears? He looks pretty nice as well. Let's put Shears on the bench. Masakuro. Oh, that's the guy I signed. McGarlin. Did I sign him as well? I oh, know I called him back off loan. Martinez. And rent. Uh, I need a. I need a fucking. Uh, so, oops. I need a backup goalkeeper. Uh, well, I do need backup there. So I need someone that can cover. That's going to have to do. For the first game. Now we've got to set the uh, playing room instructions. I think Tadic would be captain, wouldn't he? Yeah, influence 20. Anana, we're going to go pressing, normal, do I want him on direct? Uh, Tiglila, or whatever his name is. Can he run with it, can he cross with it? Mm. I think we want our... I think we want them pressing, don't we? Put them on direct. Actually, let's have them both on hard to start with. What's his passing? 16, decision 16. I think we're gonna have to put them on mixed. Uh, blend. Put them back, back. Uh, Timber back, back. Just have them on short passing to begin with. Graven back. Uh, just have Graven back on three balls. Uh, Alvarez. Could have him hold up ball maybe. Forward runs and hold up ball. He's got low strength though. Uh, just have to have him on forward runs, I guess. Pressing hard short. Let's go back, back. Uh, can he dribble? Mm -mm. Yeah, let's put Graven back on run with it. Uh, Tadic. Just tempted just to put him on free roll. He does have high off the ball though as well. Free roll and run with ball. No. F free roll and forward runs. Uh, forward, forward. Uh, Halla. Direct as well.
tempted to do that. Uh, we'll start with that anyway. Near ears. I'm just going to start them on both forward runs and runs with ball. If they got that higher work rate and stuff. Nero's does. What about Anthony? Yeah, I think they both can. Pressing, yeah, pressing, normal short. Nero's. Pressing, normal short. Hello, direct. Yeah, do. Oh, let's do. What's Hal is off the ball? Only 13. Let's try Haller on that to start with. Um, playmakers Anthony and Nerez. Let's go. Okay. Oh yeah, we want the uh, normal settings. Let's go. Let's see how this uh, looks. Doesn't look great so far. PSV have had a lot of the game. Headers one. The passes completed is a lot higher. What do we do with Tadic here? Let's put Tadic on three balls then. What? What's his work rate and stuff? He's got higher stamina. Um, dribbling. Weird how certain settings don't work with on some loads and they do on others, etc. Uh, Hala. Oh, actually, let's do the hold up ball. But not with Tadic. So there's something there. Get the wing backs higher up. Let's try this. So Nerez equalizes. So now Tadish is struggling. <laughs> Um, let's do this with Tadic. Yeah, I think it's going to be a struggle to try and figure out how to use Tadic this season. Well, it's 1-1 after 90 minutes. We come back into the game. Haller's playing a 6 as well. Yeah, it's just, it's just getting these front two to click. And, to, and he's, having a, he's having a tough time. What's his decisions? Only 12. We, yeah, just leave him on short. I want him pressing. Let's take him off press as well. No marking, no pressing. I feel like he needs an arrow. 
perhaps. We'll do that. We need an out. We need someone from uh, going forward there. One one. Let's bring on some subs. Hmm. Let's bring on class in for Tadic. From memory, Clarsen's quite hard working, yeah. And Hala does better off forward run, so. Oh, don't, if he's out for like nine months, that's just gonna piss me off already. Um. Danny Blinn's playing a 10. Um, let's just leave the penalty takers because it feels pretty hit and miss. And Blinn misses. Oh, God. Not a great start, but... And Neres is out for nine months. What? Oh, piss off. What a joke. You're always supposed to be the one to play in here. Like your best player's out for nine months. In a fucking pre-season cup match, basically. Uh... So we definitely need to get some uh, better players in now. Every jar. He's not bad. I just want a load of money for him. They're not going to accept, but worth a try. Hopefully we can just get like an easy team at home on the first game and just uh, start from there. Uh, I like the look of him. Yeah, I'm a bit worried with the front too because it wasn't didn't look very good, did it? We're away at Groen again now. Moreno, Drami it is. I think he's the only one, isn't he, that can play all across the line. The Bayard. Do we have to play? He's, he has to be taken off normal, no pressing. <coughs> Let's get Missouri up. Uh, Hala. Leave Hannah on that. Uh, Tadic, what do we do with Tadic? Oh, Drami, what fit is he? Right, okay. Where's Martinez? What's his marking out of interest? It's 15. Yeah, I'm going to get him to do more of a all action job. So he's going to man mark whoever's on that side. 
tempted maybe to put Tadic and Graven back as the playmakers. It might work better. Right, Dorami. Going to go miss a penalty. 2 0 with Anthony. Oh, that's really nice. They're crisscrossing nicely, it seems. Yeah, the balance looks better now. Who assisted? Grab them back again. They're getting free quite a lot though. So now Haller's letting me down. Let's just hold up ball with him. Let's press with him and shorten it. Let's go normal. Let's just put Tadic on free roll and three balls. Actually, yeah. Three balls, long shots, short, no. Let's get Tricola Fico up the pitch. Actually, let's put on uh, put some pressure on their back line. Classing. Anthony. So now Tadic is playing an eight. Okay, so let's save the, those settings. Epic savers. Ajax. One. Traclafigo doesn't do very well as an attacking a fullback does he I like how both um, wingers like did do something now oh shit what a striker he would have been <laughs> be cool send only 49 million as well he'd, he'd probably be an okay backup and he's on a free I'm not saying he'll be perfect but defensively he'll be okay just get him in. I don't have any left-sided players. Defender right. Evander. Let's add him to the shortlist. Friend up. Anis Salami. Salamini or something. Does he have a minimum fee? It's only worth 1.8 though. He's got some really nice attributes. Well, not nice, he just looks like he's gonna develop a lot. But what are we aiming to do? I, I suppose I wanna win the Champions League in, within three years, so. I think we'll do that as the aim. He looks good as well. It's a bit slow, but. High determination. It's quite rounded, actually. Carlos Paleos. 
low minimum fee, 3.2, oh, Volland would have been a good sign in as well. So what we're looking at, classing is the pressing forward basically, aren't we? He's not even that quick. I just think he could do that role pretty nicely. I don't think Haller's got work rate, does he? He's a bit lazy. Yeah, I thought that, thought as much. We'd have to, we'd have to use Haller as more of a target man and class him more as a pressing forward. So we've got Sparta at home now. Retrained his left side, he's probably worth a load. He's not even worth that much. It's not bad. Uh, so we're going to go. When you, so we've got Ajax one loaded. So we start with Klaassen. Just because he did well last game. Keep him on zonal. Tadic can do his thing. Anthony. Drama. He's doing really well like that. Well, how's Martinez been doing? He even got an assist. So what was I using for his settings? Just hold up ball. I don't think um, the other guy's got... Is it Alvarez? Yeah, he's not that strong. I think we need a strong midfielder in there. I don't have a backup left back, do I, on the bench? Um, let's reset the subs quickly. So you want this Paseva. How's Timber done? Yeah, nice. Uh, I guess Alvarez. Ben Arthur, just because he can play both. Haller and Labayad. What's his dribbling? Uh, might be why. I might have to take him off run with ball. I think he can dribble with it though, kind of. Actually, it's still working okay. Right, let's go. I do usually like my two up front, but I'm starting to get to like the wide players at the moment. Especially when you're trying new stuff out. Tuckle of Fico, free. Wow, we're caning them. They can't live with us. We're just swamping them. Well, it took a little while to get the settings right, but it looks like we're going to get somewhere. Shame Tadic still isn't doing fuck all, but you can't have it all. Let's bring on Ben Arthur <laughs> just for a little bit. He can't press, though, can he, old Ben Arthur? Uh, actually, let's just bring on Labide because we're falling up. He does need football. But we'll just bring him on for Drami so he's going into the arrow on the other side. And Ben Arthur for Anthony. Martin has two assists. Drami one assist. And Clarsen and Anthony have scored. And both fullbacks have scored. Oh, just these injuries are a joke. Hello for Ben Arthur. Where's Ben Arthur? Um, yeah, do it that way. Uh, we just have to swap class and roll around. He's just going to press in there. Um, what's his strength? He's, oh, he's a big, he's a, he's a bit of a unit. We'll do this with him. And Hala, 
You just have Haller on forward runs, not on direct. Yeah, I thought the arrows might lose effect because uh, they're playing a bit out of position. But look at that. That was really nice. One no tackle at all. So things are looking up uh, in Amsterdam. Martin has got man in the match. Tadic was not really involved that game, was he? But I think he'll have his moments as the season goes on. He has got one assist so far, but his ratings have been quite low. His passing, hmm. What's his decisions? 12? What kind of passing do we even put him on in there? Nothing. I've tried short mixed and direct so far. <laughs> he doesn't. He seems to not be involved in the game. Perhaps. That. <coughs> that is what I am thinking. Where is he? Where are you, Tadic? Oh, he's retraining as an AMR right, isn't he? And we're all, we are away at PSV, so I might just leave the tactic for... Actually, I might just leave it for, for that game. Who plays up front for them in real life? It is Haller, isn't it? It's not um, Klaassen. What's our group like? Benfica, Bayern and Lausanne. Uh, we'll play the PSV game and then we'll save it for now. So it'll be a quite a good indication of how strong we are away at home at PSV. Because we shouldn't be losing the game. We should be coming out. I think if you've got quite a strong tactic, you should be getting a draw. And then with a bit of luck, you're winning it. Sometimes you might narrowly lose, but you shouldn't be. You shouldn't. PSV shouldn't be dominating this Ajax team, I don't think, if you've got a nice tactic. Even with even playing it on the harder AI pack with a creativity fix on, it sh you should still have enough there. But it's not the end of the world if I lose. I've still got to tweak things with the tactic. We're only what four games in or something. Obviously, I'm going to. I'm not trying to judge it by the weaker, by the games we played against weaker teams because I'm expecting expecting to thump some teams in this division. But a lot of our players are getting injured now, so which is the annoying thing. Uh, what's it doing? I've got to give it a bit of a... Oh no, I was about to give it a bit of control alt and delete there. <laughs> Fontaine. He looks pretty useful. He's actually good defensively. He's just got no attacking attributes. We need attacking ones at Ajax. Or even just generally bigger teams. I like using very hyper-attacking fullbacks. Um... Uh, Berg. He's actually pretty decent. What's his strength? Yeah, we got him on the shortlist already. Sell back in. Certainly, I want him on the shortlist. He's quite good in real life, isn't he? He's got some nice attributes to play right and left. Has he got a minimum fee? Let's just put in a cheeky little. It looks like I'm just going to keep getting injuries at the moment, which is really annoying. Right, onto the PSV game. What's our fitness saying? Everyone's 100. I'm not even uh, using Berghaus, am I, at the moment? We don't need Kudos at the moment either. Um Anana's done really well as a sweeper keeper so far. His passing could be higher. Um, I think we could keep him on mix though for this game. It might be why Tadic might be struggling because he's on mix. But I don't want to... I just think mix... It's a it 
let's keep Tadic on those settings. What do we? Do we have Impress as well? Right, Dorami. It's a good start. One one. Oh, piss off. They're off. Where are they swamping me? Are oh, they playing a. Uh, I think I need to zone all the defenders, Timber. We are really attacking away from home, though. Oh, almost got a penalty. It's a very even game so far. Um, just so Anthony's struggling. Who can we bring on? The Bayard. Was he right? Right to left. Let's bring on Hassan for classing. No normal. Stick blend on direct. Oh, we've equalised. Oh, they took a draw. Fuck. What an exciting game, though. Uh, they do have some good players on this, though. That Ramelo is good. Uh, it's a bad loss. Anana let me down. I might have to put him on short passing. <sighs> That's really annoying. I've got my best player out as well for all that time. Let's get this guy in. That was a bad first defeat. Uh, Sol back in. Why does he want a minimum fee? I'm bloody Ajax. Actually, yeah, I have to check the other signings as well. Uh, sort by, is there clauses? Is there an option to sort by clauses? Transfers in. Oh, he's not going to have one, is he? Uh, thinking of the younger ones. Yeah, that's fine. Huh? Let's retry then. Let's give him a bit of a signing on. 3,000. You're not getting a minimum fee there. Just check that's relegation. Yep. Oh, piss off. I need to check the data for that game. It could just put, yeah, he needs to be put on short then, I think. I think it depends what kind of strikers we're playing. If we're playing classing, I think he needs to be on short. I think Haller's better on direct. He's actually not not done that well, has he, Haller, so far? Labai came on and got two assists. I certainly think the attacking side kind of works, because if you're scoring three goals away at PSV... Might be a bit open defensively on some games. Once first team football. He looks pretty good as well. I was going to say try and lane.
I'll just use a. Uh, I don't think we need the Nilo. I do think we need the backup left. Where's the other left back? I might drop him. Um, you know what? Because he was playing out of position, so that was a mistake. Missouri, did, did he get a low rate in? Yeah. So that was that was silly. I might just leave him like that because I'll put him on short as well, so he can take him off crossing and just have him run with ball. Hopefully, he can just give little balls to grab him back as we're using him as playmaker with uh, Tedich and just have Missouri cross. Come on, Campbell. They did draw a game earlier on in the season, though, so. And it's probably our hardest away fixture out of the way this season. Just annoying that we didn't pick up a draw. Uh, Tadic. All right, let's put him back on short. Uh, keep class in up front. Let's play Haller this game. We need to get Haller scoring. Uh, Tadic. He did get a nine last game, so we'll keep him like that. Start with Labayad, I guess. Start with Labayad. Drummy or Anthony? They've both done well, haven't they? Check the playmakers. Because Martinez holds up the ball as well. Um, let's try this, just for this game. See if that works, because he's further up. He's right side of him. And you've got Anthony there as well. And obviously Graven back and Tadic are going to do their things as the playmakers. So a bit shorter down this side, a bit more direct down this side. Come on, Halle, get your first goal. Or I'll get worried about you. Tadic 1-0. Halle. There's a lot of movement. You can kind of feel that this is a really like crazy tactic. Just they're moving all over the place. I like it. 6-4. We are going to concede chances though. Now he's struggling, Missouri. And Blind. Let's put Blind on direct. Uh, let's uh, Missouri. Why is he struggling now? Let's put him on short. Back on short. Forward lines. Yeah, it's going to be a bit flicky, but now Tal Taglafeglo is playing well. Whatever. So the wingers are playing well again. Anthony Drami for Labayad. Alvarez for. Can he dribble with it? No. Uh, give class in a bit of that. So now Blind's gone back up to that, but we can put Blind on long. To try this, just uh, some tactical options for the rest of the season. See if it works. Just if you need to go a bit more direct. Why did Willem Trey come right back into it in the end? They still lost all their headers though. It's still a win. Their stats wise, we've done okay. Scored 14, conceded 5. 
and we got Luzerne away in the Champions League. So I'll save it after the Luzerne game. Hopefully we can get our first Champions League win. I'll be disappointed if I don't get through, first to foot, through the first group of Ajax. Even playing, what was our group? Bayern, Benfica. So it's going to be between us and Benfica, really. Um, I'll keep Haller back in for the Champions League. Tell Figo done better. Let's put Martinez back, Gravin back. Uh, Tadic. Yeah, Tadic is doing better now. I've got two more slots. So kudos. Uh, Pereira, I guess. Wiltshire. So a nine I played an eight. What's Blinn's passing? That's another thing I need to check is probably the marking. So Anthony makes it one nil. Tadic 2 0. They seem to be having a lot of the game, Luzerne. I'm going to press with Timber. Is the Sargo press? He is pressing, but. Let's put them both on hard, see if that makes a difference. He's they're both struggling again. Let's just take them off, for, off run with ball. Bring class in for Martinez. Uh, the wing backs are still struggling. Put them in short. Now, it wasn't a great performance, but it looks like we're going to get the win. Well, we started the Champions League, okay. That was the main concern. We can obviously make the points gap back up on PSV as the season goes on. But yeah, I'm not as happy as I thought I'd be, but there are some good signs that it could be a nice flying tactic over time. It's just really annoying that I can't believe he's got injured because he was the one, one of the one guys I wanted to try it out with. I'm probably going to have to run a second season now because of that. At least a second season or into three, but... But you can see with the wingers, they've been really good. Uh, Tadic. I'm a bit concerned with the wing backs, because usually when I try these settings with strong wing backs, they do really well. It's when they, it's when they're not as strong as <laughs> I think they are, they start to struggle. So let's just save it. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Take care.